Hello everybody, it's your boy Mark here, and uh, I am coming back to you from an undisclosed location. Um, nah, it's, it's, it's one of the offices of my work, but like an apartment, like upper level thing. But uh, <laughs> I have a free day or two to record and uh, sort my life out in the way I please, and I thought I would actually give you guys a good start to Portal 2. So let's just get right into it, because I bet you're all just... Oh, so excited for it. <laughs> excited for it. It's going to be great. Okay, let's get on to that. Okay, here we are. I'm going to turn down my monitor a bit. There we go. Awesome. So, right at the title screen, and this time I'll be using a controller. You'll probably hear that, but let's just get right into it. Okay, let's do play single player, and then new game. Awesome. Okay, courtesy call. Let's get right into it. So I tried recording this on my laptop previously, and uh, well, my laptop doesn't do great with games, but does great with editing. So that's where my last video came from. Okay. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. This looks nice and horrible. When you hear <laughs> the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Look Good. up. You will Got hear it. a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please oh, this thing in front of it. Yep. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Looks like a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> you should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Please return to your bed. Okay. Jeez. So everything will be okay. You have been in suspension for nine. Probably nine, not. Nine, 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 this courtesy call Hello? is to you. Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. Any you time? Assume to have exercised his or her oh, jeez. Oh, that's like a body mass. Are you going to open this door? This is it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Your concerns regarding this policy. Ha! Ah! Oh, God. oh, hello. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. Okay. There's plenty of time <laughs> to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. Yeah. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, jeez. Even the chair is messed something. up. Word of advice. Up to you. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh. Oh boy. You're right down there. Can you hear me? Okay. There we go. Hello? Oh. Yep. <laughs> I'm fine. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not yeah. out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does yep. any of this make any sense? Just tell oh, me. Yes. Just say yes. We can speak. Okay, what you're doing there we is jumped. jumping. Uh, we you jumped. Just, you just yep. jumped. But never mind. Say apple. That's true. Apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Hey, I wasn't going to oh, mention geez. this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding uh... on? Kinda. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Uh huh. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know about the 
flight functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects. We are losing more and more of the room. Oh boy. Why? It's close. Can you see? Oh jeez. Am I going to okay. make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, we are just, just get through here. flying. <laughs> okay, I just can't concentrate. Or something. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management subjects? comes down here and finds 10,000 mm. flipping vegetables? I wouldn't call them that. Oh, I see, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. Okay. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. I think he's talking about the portal gun. Oh, jeez. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a <laughs> manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. AK Almost breaking there. into it. Remember. Oh, for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes, but the portal worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh, jeez. There we go. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, hey. you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So, good luck. Oh, jeez. Oh. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Oh, this is familiar. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three... Two, one. Okay. Hey, there's us. Slash me. Mostly me. Okay, we still got the legs. Let's go. And this place is very overgrown. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Okay, so this is like the beginning of the game. Well, the beginning of the previous game, but okay. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Uh, okay. Yikes. Oh, this is the portal area. Well, I mean, it's all kind of the portal area, but the portal puzzle area. Uh, okay. The cube looks a little different. Um, there's the button. Can we drop that there? Oh, but we can't walk through that. This button? Yeah. Okay, we got our thinking cap on. Good. There we go. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, jeez. I like how they say when instead of if. <laughs> jeez. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Okay, then. Okay, this game looks great. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey you made it. Yeah. There should be a, a portal to. Oh, okay. So it's not there anymore. Can you see the portal gun? Hey, there it is. Also, are you alive? 
Yes. I am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some okay. emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military uh, androids. Okay. Rest assured, We're going backwards now. Military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy oh. of the laws of robots. To share. There we go. To share. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Okay. Sweet. This next test is very dangerous. To help really? you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. It's very calming. Okay. Musician me is coming out when I say this, but smooth jazz is extremely overrated for what it is. You should explore other kinds of jazz, like most people should, because it's not a strong representative of the style of music slash styles of music. Okay, rant over. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Same old, same old. Great work. The process awesome. message is pre-recorded. Yeah. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard oh. any undeserved compliments. I like that it also has like the see-through like portal indicator. That's cool. Oh, okay. This is like Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like an observation room. How come? Was this here before? Maybe. I don't know. Editor me. Tell me if this was here before. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Next area. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Duly noted. Okay. Ooh, okay. So then bring that thing over there. Awesome. keep having burps because like the protein shake I had before this um this time oh that's another dispenser so like there <laughs> that was a weird one. Oh, that was smooth oh oh okay yeah, so I previously tried recording this on a laptop, and uh, I guess I never really well knew what the purpose the of this was, but uh, may I guess it's stopping momentum. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. But yeah, I thought I, um, I thought that was a cab bolting kind of thing. Like it would fling it back or something. Okay. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> I suppose. Oh. 
we know this place. Well, this kind of thing. Maybe not this place, but the gist of this one. Honestly, like this this whole beginning bit, probably this whole episode is uh, going to be stuff I kind of already covered in the uh, laptop attempt of recording this episode. But I'll keep an eye out for things I missed. But don't expect that for the rest if of the you game. Are an employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Really? Okay. Yeah, this is the point I got to. So I think um, we're going to have this be a first short little episode. Then we're going to be heading right into the next one. And getting as many episodes recorded as we can now. That way I can get, all, get it all to you lovely people as soon as possible. But like, you know, spaced out, of course, because it's summer. <laughs> okay, with that being said, I hope you all liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!